What's up, folks? Samurai King A is here today. See the sword? See the Texans logo? Texan fan. H Town hat. I'm here today to talk about One Piece. Chapter 1. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chapter 744. I don't think 144 had anything on this fucking chapter. I just gotta tell y'all, just like that. Chapter is fucking amazing. The Reverend, I mean, shit, you can tell by the title of this motherfucking shit, it's gonna be amazing. The Revolutionary Army Chief of Staff. Hmm. Let's see who that was gonna be about. <laughs> I'm gonna do like I did last week. Uh, uh, 743. I'm gonna read along and show you guys some pictures here and there from the, from a tablet because that's the best way I read it. I like reading from tablet because computer it be too fucking big. It's wide as fuck. So on a tablet it looks nice. This is somewhat of a live reading because I did glance over the chapter to kind of get myself hyped up for the video. But most for the most part it is a live reaction and a review afterwards. You know the drill. You know the drill. You know the drill. Cause, well, my chapter, my, my channel, myself. Whatever. All right, then. we are back to seeing Sabo. I'm sorry, Lucy, destroying the fucking uh, battlefield. The fucking just the whole plane. Uh, you know they, they talk about. Oh my God, the ring has been completely obliterated. What? Is he insane? The world level is rising as well. Oh, and also, before I get too far into this, I read this from my, my One Piece chapter, and a lot of my anime from kissmonga.com. And I will put the link to this chapter in the description below. I moved my hand too much, and then I'm not reading enough. Let me read. Alrighty then. Oh, let me show you how you get that. This, 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 right quick. Sabo, that's destruction at the highest. Destruction at the highest fucking level. Alright, please evacuate the premises as quickly as possible. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we can no longer guarantee your safety because niggas are going ape shit. <laughs> we see Burgess knock the fuck out. Uh, Rebecca is choking the fuck out of uh, Bartholomew because she, she, he, he's running and getting behind her like, ah, help me. And... Fucking uh, Diamante, Diamante is fading. He said, "My strength, my strength is fading." Basically, what he meant. And uh, let's see here, what else? Stop. We never actually intended to give that prize away. So, hmm, what were they gonna do with the prize? They were just gonna keep it. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's kind of odd to me. If, okay, you're gonna keep the prize. I, I thought this too. I, I originally thought that the prize was fake. Like, if you're going to keep the prize, why the fuck would you um, bring it out to the Coliseum? But I guess, I mean, the fans don't know what the fuck the fruit, fruit looks like. like some, most of them don't. So, uh, I, I don't really see a point of bringing it if you're never going to give it to anybody anyway. It's like, like, like not giving the damn athlete his trophy, his first place trophy. Uh, you're going to bring it there and show it to him and be like, okay, well, I'm not going to give it to you. But, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But anyway. We see fucking Sabo, I'm sorry, Lucy, I'm, I'm still saying Sabo, Lucy hocking up to open the, um, uh, damn, the barrel that the fruit is in, on top of that fighting fish. You see, there again, there he is on top of the fighting fish, opening the bitch up, and he's opening it up, and we get a big glimpse of the huge, huge glimpse, Sabo, the fruit. Let's fucking go. Alright. The announcer, what? No one is left in the ring. This match is mine, as Sabo, oh, Lucy said. And tap, he touched, touched down. You said the guy that got this, his hands on this fruit first wins, right? And everybody's like, ah, oh, he's like, ah, oh, the Mary Mary know me. Then Sabo has in his hand. I just had to help myself to some then. What? And everybody, everybody getting the howling tail out of there. The announcer is announcing a victor. We have a victor. Even during all this commotion, somehow he has managed to overcome the chaos and confusion, obtain his prize. Put in that work. Sabo. 
Oh, he eats the fucking food. Oh my god, he eats the food. This tournament biggest dog horse. The third biggest dog horse eats the fucking fruit. He's eating that shit. Gross. Who's saying gross? Oh, 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 Sabo saying gross. Cause yeah, I forgot their food tastes horrible. Uh, okay, Sabo, he fucking eats the fruit and just takes the fuck off and grabs Rebecca. And, uh, <laughs> it was funny. That's just funny right here. But I thought I made you. Oh, great senpai, please don't simply forget about me. Uh, Lucy. And, um,. Oh my god, I thought I made fan bowling up. I, th I thought the fucking uh, person that everybody's supposed to uh, identify with probably Ustop, but now, nah, I guess this motherfucker, because if we was there, we'd be like, if a true One Piece fan was there, we'd be just like that. Besides the power and looking crazy shit. We'd be just like Bartholomew. And we're back to this. We we have a victor. Shack up. You can save yourselves. What? I'm going for one more. Wash your head. I'm watch it. What mean? And then we started to see some some comedy with with, with Sabo because I mean when Sabo was with Luffy and Ace, it didn't seem like he was all that comedic at first. And then for one thing, all three of them could be comedic without even fucking trying. So, uh, <laughs> so I guess that's one thing you can say. Like right? like Luffy don't make just jokes jokes sometimes. He do. I guess out of all of them, he has the most. He has the best comic relief. Moments like he can tell the best jokes, I guess, and that's not really saying too much. But um, uh, so so we see here Sabo, Luffy, uh, Lucy, sorry, Lucy saying, Whoa, hot, hot, shit, it worked. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, it's actually not hot. I was just imagining it. I am on fire after all. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you don't know, eat that fucking fruit that's just gonna be hot. So we see Burgess and Diamante talking. That bastard, he actually fucking ate it. What could it be? Is that the revolutionary? Whoa, they know. Koala, your clothes, I have them. She jumped high shit. And Sabo, man. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying Sabo. We know it's not fucking him. We know it's not Luffy. And we know it's not no matter fucking Lucy. So it's Sabo. It's fucking Sabo. Sorry. Now. Sabo, which is a very t almost almost tearjerker, almost tearjerker. Ace, I'm borrowing this from you, from you. Mm. Then, then, after he says that, we get some beast and shit. Beast, beast, beast shit. Fire fucking fist. Look at that devastation. Oh my god, dude is OP. I mean. Unless you just at that certain level, when you get a devil fruit, you don't need to instantly, instantly start using the power greatly like that. Now, that makes them a little bit to kind of fill out the devil fruit, but hey, this motherfucker is OP before he had the fruit. Now he has the fruit, and what level is that over OP? I just want to know that. I mean, what level is he at? What level is uh, Dragon at? What? That's a, that's a, that's a different video. Different discussion for a different day. And I most likely will bring it to y'all soon. Don't worry about it. Alright. Underground trading port. This, we're going down there, not underground. Now we see um, Trayvon, Damage Straw Hats, Tantata. Uh, but yeah, that's not important. I ain't letting you leave out of here. Uh, and the fucking um, Tantata's uh, taking Usopp. Please take Usopp. And Robin. Robin ready to throw down. Ready to put them paws on them. Them paws. <laughs> little strap. She ready to put them paws on Trayvon. Say, we must make it a run for it. Do not lay a, even a single finger on Uso land. Roger that. And Trayvon, you vermin are after the smile factory, aren't you? Nico Robin. Robin looking sexy as fuck. No, I'm a big, big proponent of Robin's sexiness. So, uh, uh, stick your chain. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted with the TV. I'm stop looking. I'm stop doing that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm stop being distracted. Chap, greatness. Stick your chain, Trayvon. And then somebody comes, steps up, hold it right there, with the hand, with that epic hand, hold it right fucking there. Robin looking sexy in that dress. Robin, that dress, my God. Uh, <laughs> more women need to dress like Robin, and none. Sexy women only. Sorry, be a little sexy. Sorry, Trevor. Send the 
And Robin looks up, oh, a giant? And he fucking just grabs Uso. Also, Uso land. I'll be taking this guy for a, for a minute. Huh. You guys are dwarves. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking giant. <laughs> look at this shit. Look, dude, you're a fucking giant. And you call them niggas dwarves? Like, look, everybody to you is a damn dwarf. <laughs> anyway, so that big guy, you did not die for us. If you can hear me, some of us have been turned, have been torn for over 10 years. How we have suffered if it wasn't for you. And, uh, uh, <laughs> Usopp is like, shit, that hurts. Stop moving me around. <laughs> and it's like, we still be toiling, working like slaves till, uh, kingdom come. You're giving us our lives back. Alright. Crack, crack. Crack is uh, in the ceiling. Behold, and, and fucking, this is some hilarious shit that happened. Uh, <laughs> the damn giant has Usopp in his hand like a damn toy. Wow. Wow. Sorry. Behold, warriors, this man. This is the man that lifted our curse. Our hero. His name is Captain Usopp. And he just holds up Usopp fucking uh, 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 Lion King style. Hey, nah, Lion King fucking style, man. Whoa. What's going on? The ceiling has, has been shattered. It's a freaking ray from heaven. <laughs> Impossible. Could it be this man is a servant of God himself? Divine God, Captain Usopp? <laughs> we are witnessing a miracle, folks. Oh, my God. He just holding this motherfucker up. Like, you can't even see Usopp right there. Usopp, like, he got crushed right there. <laughs> he holds Usopp up like, he, like the Lion King, bro. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. These motherfuckers crying. The Funk Brothers are crying. Assassins are fucking crying. We saw, we saw an assassin cry yesterday, but not like this. Not for this reason. That assassin yesterday was crying for a different reason. <laughs> uh, Killua from Hunter Hunter, if y'all didn't know. Uh, <laughs> these motherfuckers are posed up crying, man. We got fucking the Funk Brothers crying. I don't know if the King um, Providence, I don't know if Isabella, Elizabello is crying, and that fat fuck that's with him crying. Uh, I don't know who the other guy is beside him. And, and look at this shit. Ray of. Uh, Heaven have been look at this shine shit. Oh stop. The fucked up one. The fucking divine god Captain Usopp. <laughs> and I know you I know Usopp got a lot of hate from what happened, him running away and shit. But hey, this shit makes up all that shit. For what he do here next. But I mean Cavendish. All these motherfuckers. Ah Divine. Truly divine. <laughs> And Usopp like, you idiots. I will leave you. And uh, that's what they hearing. But Usopp actually saying, put me down. Are you kidding me? Look at my damn face. It's covered with blood, you dipshit. <laughs> and uh, they, they, they just making their own fucking translation of what he's saying. Uh, people, I will lead you. You really were sent from the heavens. Our Messiah. <laughs> lead us. What, what are we to do, God Usopp? God Usopp. I will call him Divine God Captain Usopp from now on. Now, will, will Usopp leave the crew? Because he got his, his crew now. It's a, shit, this is a badass crew he got right now. <laughs> if he get these motherfuckers and they all fall, fall suing him, I doubt that shit. But, hey. Hey. He finally got his 800, uh, 8,000 man army right here. And Usopp like, oh, fine. Destroy the factory behind me and rescue my little friend. Since y'all motherfuckers just gon' just believe what what the fuck y'all wanna believe, man. Just just do what I what y'all wanna do what you tell you tell you what fucking do. Hell this shit for <laughs> And they like your wish is our command, Uso land. Oh my god! And the door they going hey, they like yeah, Uso land. Let's go. <laughs> that motherfuckers hype and Burgess pissed. <laughs> Rumble. That was a straw hat, was it? The mirror man on me. It should have been mine for the taking. How did it, son of a... And it stopped it. And fucking die much like a damn snake just fluttering and shit. And he like, I'm so screwed. What am I supposed to tell Dofi? And that's pretty cool. They call him Dof Dofi Mingo Dofi. They've been a nickname everybody been calling him fan wise for, for a while now. So, uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, look at it. He look like a damn snake. You see, you see, uh, die much like a fucking snake. It's a flutter, the flutter, flutter fruit, fruit turns, um, 
solid things into uh, like flutter motion, like a damn flag. So uh, I think uh, is a flutter foot or a flag flag. I forgot. But um, he like, what? Where did these goons come from? Oh, that's right. There, there are all those toys from on the ground. He like, oh, oh, I forgot. Oh shit. And so uh, <laughs> we finally see Bartholomew. He like, hey, wait a minute. That's not fair, great senpai. I could have just put a barrier up, you know. <laughs> but he wouldn't got the fruit. Anyway, though, um, uh, excuse me. She said, uh, now we're going to Re Rebecca, looking kind of sexy. I don't know why. 16. I, I, ain't, I ain't too fond of her being 16. It's a little too young, but hey, don't get no fuck. <laughs> Pirates don't get no fuck. <laughs> uh, I would have never thought there would be a place like this down here. That's uh, Rebecca saying that. She didn't know. Uh, mostly about up top, above ground, didn't know about this place. It's kind of like Magi. And what's going on on there with the wizards and the uh in that place but yeah, that's a bit different a different day uh, so uh come to think of it who exactly are you and who was the first lucy now since ace lost his the, the disguise we see his face and she like and she was and he was like damn that scared the piss out of me that's this is gonna be hard to control. So as you can see now, he he will have to uh, get used to the fruit, which is understandable. I mean, you got a brand new fucking power. Shit, can't just get used to it instantly. Even though it is the right fucking place to be getting used to it instantly. But whatever. So now we get to see Sabo's face, and there it is, and there it is. Sabo, you see the scar from his face. We don't know what that could be from. It could be from his uh experience from when he got fucked up by that bomb when he was a kid or maybe from training with dragon well, I don't know what the fuck dragon did did to him shit we dra if dragon anything like his fucking dad uh with training folks it's most likely hell <laughs> it's most likely fucking hell i mean garp what well, luffy say he uh, garp through luffy in fucking ravine snake pits forest for for days and weeks without eating and shit so uh so uh, if we know anything, this, this this motherfucker is on some some high level shit. I say. So he was like, so he's gonna, he gonna go ahead and tell Rebecca. Oh, the first Luffy, Lucy was someone with a fifty, a forty hundred, a forty hundred million uh, berry bounty. Someone that will w one day be Power King, Straw Hat Luffy. My little brother. By the way, nice to meet you. We're revolutionaries. Luffy's a good guy, ain't he? Uh, he hasn't changed a bit. So now we get to see, we see Hat, uh, Sabo, fully dressed without the hat, and Koala. And she looking kind of sexy, too. Uh, she got that, you know, that, that, that typical figure of Oda that he always draws of women, of sexy women. Because we, we have seen some porkers <laughs> in, the, in One Piece world. So, uh, everybody ain't just fine as fuck. And uh, so see Hat, Koala, and I said, uh, Hacky just is just a revolutionary army soldier. I think that's what we were uh, before, but we don't know for sure. And good to see Hack arm is ain't fucked up no more, but I don't see it, so it probably is still fucked up. It's right on. But um, we see that Sabo is revolutionary army. He's the chief of staff. So, hmm, chief of staff. I wonder where is that rank with everybody else in the revolution army? Like, if, is that second to uh, fucking um, uh, Dragon, so like whoa, so where does that rank within within their ranking? Because like we know um like uh Kuma and uh um uh, shit the the Okuma guy I can't think of his name no the gay motherfucker <laughs> um uh where do they rank? Like where were they? Were they like like on evil footing with Dragon like a fleet or, um captain's thing or were they like uh? Just under him, we don't know. We don't know, and 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 they may not consider to be ranked. I don't, I don't know. So, well, uh, this this real from none day, like I said from. Okay, hat arm is wrapped up, so now I see that now. But uh, Rebecca, why is Revolutionary Army here in this country? And he's telling them the weapons distributed from this harbor were supporting wars across the world. Hmm. So we got some fucking uh. Some shady shit going on. Some some even shadier shit going on in Dress Rosa. And uh Koala, we came to stop to put a stop to that. The Revolution Army had on several occasions sent uh many 
operative, uh, many officers, to infiltrate this country. Unfortunately, every last one of them was made into a toy and fucking gone from memory. As a result, this black market was remain has remained secret even to us. Hmm. And then now we can see some motherfuckers fine. Oh, oh, oi, oi, this is bad. That guy is Sabo, ain't he? Why is the second in command of the Revolution Army here? Second in command? Whoa, shit. <laughs> second in command? Whoa. Whoa. Big news. Whoa. Dragon trusts this motherfucker to be second in command? He on, if, uh, shit, vice, vice captain level. Fuck. How strong is this motherfucker? He gotta be he's pretty fucking strong. And a great fucking leader. Second in command. Under Dragon? What? Maybe the rest of them. Maybe like, well, you know, Kuma did. And maybe, uh, uh, the Okuma guy. Maybe he's fucking, um, out the armor, out doing his own thing. We don't know. We don't know where they rank in this. And Robin, she probably don't rank in this without, regardless of it. But, um, wow. That's some big, that's some big news. Um, inform the young master. Uh, yeah, that's Doflamingo. So, uh, it appears that the production of these weapons is being uh, conducted somewhere else. I wonder where we're being transported from. Where they're being, I'm sorry, where they're being transported from. Transported from. So, maybe from the factory. We, we don't know what these weapons are. Like, gotta be like weapons of mass destruction type, some shit like that. Iraq type shit. So, fuck. Uh, well, I don't wanna get into that. That's a lot of political stuff. Let's not get into that. <laughs> we hear from one piece. Let's not get into that political shit. Alright. We found that out as well. We'll have something uh, really nice to show Dragon, but now we go to the Royal Palace. It ought to get jazz. So we, we cut off Sabo. Wow. That that, that first. Wow. I, I'm sorry. Let's let's continue with the chapter now. We'll get into my thoughts. Cause wow, this chapter is wow. So Royal Palace. We seeing fucking uh um Kairos. Just chopping motherfuckers up like like it's like it's a bad like it's going out of habit like it's a bad fucking habit man. Look at this shit. So how strong is this motherfucker? We don't know what, what his stuff is. What his uh what his level is. Like do you know hockey? We don't know for sure. He might just be just a gladiator, a strong ass gladiator. Cause we have seen instances where hockey has been developing guys who are just warriors and, and has been trained in them. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we get to, we get to B Buffalo. You know you know Buffalo right. They fire Buffalo. Y'all don't know guys, right? Uh, because we haven't seen anything about them in a while. <laughs> Buffalo, you bloody one leg fucker. <laughs> uh, how dare you do? Huh? How dare you to the master? Okay, I guess that's kind of wrong. But whatever. Uh, how dare you do it to the master? And fucking Kairos jumps behind his motherfucker, and I don't know. It looks like he snaps his neck. Does he snap his fucking neck? He got the sword. He snapped fucking uh, Buffalo's neck. So fuck, he killing niggas. <laughs> well, we know he's a murderer, but fuck, he don't get no fuck. And uh, Buffalo is knocked out. Yeah, he knocked Buffalo out. Yeah, he snapped Buffalo's neck. So we, we know it took a lot to kill motherfuckers in One Piece. But uh, they five Buffalo, and she's sexy looking too. And uh, oh yeah, her maid outfit. My God, about that. Please cosplay that girl. Baby five, cosplay her, please. Uh, so she's like trophy. Uh, 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 Luffy is just truff, trophy. <laughs> Call it uh, law. Uh, we're here to save you. And he like straw hat. I'm glad you're still alive. Luffy to law. Law, you shouldn't have had no reason to be here, straw hat. What happened with the factory? Did you destroy it? And well, he don't know that, but the factory is on the verge of getting destroyed. So uh, they have no way of knowing that. But so, but law, yes. It is on the verge of being destroyed. Unless in Diamond they do some crazy shit. But all the strong motherfuckers down there, he ain't gonna do shit to them motherfuckers. So, uh, here, the key for his, for his handcuffs. And he like, oh, wow, you really are always prepared. It's like you can see into the future or something. And see what I'm saying, man? Riley needs to join the crew. She like it, Luffy, man. Well, she, I mean, not in love with him, but she like it, man. She like, okay, you cool. You, you, you cool people. I see that uh, you on some cool shit. So I don't know if... Uh, this is a, it's a, a, a sign that she may join? I don't know. I guess out of all people to join, maybe it's going to be Rebecca, most likely. Or uh, Bartholomew, but he, his crew, we don't wanna, uh, I don't know how he's going to do his crew. Because he do have some 
love for them so I don't know if you're gonna leave them or not but uh Gladius pops up hold it right there straw hat Violet if you even left big on the young master and he like oh young master your head oh my god he see the fucking uh Duffer Mingo's head and shit that was shocking everybody and uh uh Law, 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 we see Law, and I see. I thought Law was, was uh, wasn't handcuffed by the sea prison song, song, but I see he is handcuffed. So I was like, oh fuck, he is handcuffed. So uh, he wasn't one that saved uh, Don Flamingo. So uh, this is a little overdue, but our alliance is now through. And it looked like what? You can't just decide that by yourself. And over to I say it is. So shut up. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like wait, 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 Luffy. So it has to be, you have to come to agreement that the, um, that the fucking, uh, alliance is over, but it's on the over to you say it's over, and you tell me to shut the fuck up, <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, I, I don't know who's saying that, maybe it's, it's the um, narrator, or maybe it's, uh, Violet, now who's deciding for themselves here, <laughs> uh, Law, with the alliance over, we're enemies once again. If you let me escape here, I just come after your head. And uh, <laughs> Luffy ain't getting a fuck. He like, hold on, be still. I can't uh fucking uh unlock your uh, sea prison stone because it makes me weak. You know, therefore you just can't touch that shit. And so he said, uh, and so um, <laughs> Bad is like careful. And Law's like, you didn't hear a little word that I said, and uh, did you? And then like, uh, like, oh my god, this is a comedy. The comedy greatness of, of One Piece. One Piece, where you have a chapter full of comedy, uh, action, big reveals, stuff, information being dropped. It's just the, the great greatness of One Piece. This, this, this had to be the best chapter of the year to me. So far, to me. Best chapter of the year. And so, we get to the end, and we, like, and we see uh, Pika has finally come. He left Zoro, so Zoro will probably be lost. Well, I don't know, Lof Zoro might do what he did in, um, uh, in his life. He might just go straight up. <laughs> just go straight up. He may, he may do that. He do have a Din Din Mish. I think he has one. So, I don't know. So, um, there's some sadness right here. Gotta, gotta say this before the chapter's up. Well, well, well I, I say when I say when I'm done reading. Read. Um, Luffy's like, oh my god, it's a stone freak. It's Pika. Um, and, uh, we see Doflamingo is not dead. He's talking. There's just one head talking. Uh, for, for, for. You guys really got me good. I'm head over here in the shop. And uh, Luffy's like, oh, what? Mingo is alive. And everybody's like, young master, young master. And, and um, King Riku's, what kind of body does he have? Like, that's, yeah, that's a good fucking question. So I guess he's string, string shit. So maybe he's like, uh, like, like I said before, like the life fibers of... Uh, Excuse me. The life fibers of from um kill a kill. So uh then Dolphy dropped some bones right here. Things have clearly taken a turn for the worse. You even got so far as to make me use the bird cage. So hmm. That is bad news, right law. And law like, oh my god, the bird cage. So anything making that motherfucker shook is bad. So um uh, yeah, like it's like the things that even law is taking back um, what plan has Doflamingo hatched? That's the end of the chapter. Now, some sad news about the chapter. Uh, other than that, it's over. Um, we will be on hiatus next next issue. We will start up again in double issue. Again in double issue, 22, 23, with a center color spread. So, hey, that's pretty cool. But, hey, hiatus next week. So, so yeah, hiatus. So yeah, 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 that's how I do it. I think what it is, uh, yeah, hiatus. It's gonna it's gonna be a hiatus next week. And I know Golden Week is soon in Japan. If y'all know what Golden Week is, it's uh, I don't know if it's next week. I don't think it's next week. So it may it may be the end of the month. But um, uh, Golden Week in Japan is when um, everybody takes a week off in Japan, and um, um, it's usually the end of April. But it may be moved up because I think it's the week, it's the birthday, it's the week of the birthday of uh, the the emperor or whatever the shit they have up there, over there. So um, that's some sad news that we won't have a chapter next week. But I may upload a video, a uh, discussion video, talk about One Piece or something else. But uh, overall, 
great fucking chapter. 10 out of 10. 10 stars to everything. We got some great reveals in this fucking chapter, man. Uh, and we see Dolphin's not dead. And I was semi right last week when I said that uh, Law, he did. I, I originally thought that Law saved Dolphin, but I was wrong in saying that Pika didn't, didn't save him. Well, he, he technically did save him, but um, I did say that it probably Dolphin Mingo's fruit. Uh, his power that makes him uh, not be able to die just easily like that. So, um, how to kill this motherfucker, how to beat this motherfucker, it's going to be pretty hard for for the guys there. For um, Luffy, Law, Violet, K Rose, and maybe uh, Zoro. Maybe he can, like I said, for the um, Dragon Twist his ass, ass, Dragon Twist his ass up to the top where they at. Maybe, cause maybe he'll hear where they at or something like that. Maybe he'll use hockey. I was supposed to hockey. So maybe use some kind of hockey to get up there. I, I'm hoping he ain't just gonna be lost for the whole rest of the arc. That that that'll suck for me. Uh, or maybe, ooh, woo maybe he'll stumble upon Fuji's horror. Now that may be a good discussion video to make later on. But uh, let's go. Let's let let's let's start with this though. Let's finish off with this. Um, great chapter overall. I enjoyed everything about it from the comedy with uh. Uh, Sabo, same about his fruit and stuff. Uh, Usopp, the divine god, Captain Usopp, that's his name for now. Divine god, Captain Usopp, with his 800 men going to fuck up the factory and Diamante and maybe Burgess. Uh, so a lot of guys are, are, are fucking filler guys, so uh, they may get their ass whooped. So maybe next chapter we'll, we'll see they, they get their ass whooped. But overall, great chapter. Enjoy every bit of it. Um, can't wait till next week. Uh, I'm gonna next upload a video talking about so either so either not first week in first impressions and Black Bullet. I may upload that tomorrow because I'm gonna rewatch it tonight because I didn't really get a good feel of it when I watched it because when I watched it it was kind of hazy looking. I couldn't see too much. But um, overall great chapter. All the One Piece greatness to its finest. I enjoy every bit of it. I hope you guys did too. Hope you like, guys enjoyed the video so much. You like on it. You comment about it. Oh, sorry, sorry. I said that wrong. Start over. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the chapter so much that you like it. Comment about it. Share it. And subscribe. Um, shit. Samurai King 8 is out, folks. See ya.